Hello, and welcome to this Cosan tutorial, which is part of the Cosan training course on assessment quantification. This video is an introduction to credo and networks. Uh, I'm, I'm Diego Stradaluo, a PhD student at the Institute for Risk and Uncertainty of the University of Liverpool, and also part of the Cosan working group. During this video, we're going to define a credo network, explain concepts as credo sets and extreme points, why imprecise probabilities are necessary, how to build a credo network model, and how posterior probabilities are computed through the use of Bayesian inference. To understand better this video, we are going to need the concepts given in the introduction to Bayesian networks. You can find the link to that video in the description. A credo network is a generalization of Bayesian network networks for imprecise probabilities. It inherits all the uh, res reasoning uh, analysis and advantages as well as the graphical structures of Bayesian networks. In fact, a credal net can be regarded as a finite set of Bayesian networks, each of them with a specific combination of probability distributions. The name of credal network comes from the use of sets of probability densities, called credal sets. A credal set is a closed convex set of a finite number of probability measures. Each vertex contained in that set is known as an extreme point. All the possible combinations of those extreme points are contained on the closed convex hull, which is known as the joint credal set. Um, this can be the equivalent to the joint probability distribution of a Bayesian network, and it is known as the strong extension of the credal network due to the stochastic independence needed between the extreme points. To understand better this concept, we can see the next example. So, Imagine that we have a node in our credal net uh, called fire, and that, uh, that node has uh, two states, true and false. The credal set is given as the interval probabilities of fire being true uh, between 0 0.9 and 0 0.4, and fire being false between 0 0.6 and 0 0.9. So in the graph, we can see all the possible combinations of those probability values. However, only those that satisfy the conditions of Bayesian networks will be extreme points of that credal set. So only those that can be expressed as by the joint probability distribution and summing up to one uh, will be considered as, as extreme points. And the only points uh, that satisfy these are these ones in red. Extreme, extreme point. Uh, belongs to a different Bayesian network containing the original credal net. So in this case, we have two local Bayesian networks uh, uh, that correspond to the original credal, uh, credal net. Um, so from our tutorial uh, on Bayesian networks, we saw that uh, to define, to build our model, uh, we need to provide the precise probability distributions to build our conditional probability tables. However, that is not always possible due to the lack of data, disagreements between expert judgments, or discrepancies in the information from different data sources. To avoid uh, these problems, um, we can use a precise data sets in the form of interval probabilities to take into account better the epistemic uncertainty and, and try to avoid hard assumptions to meet the model requirements. Uh, let's look at this example of imprecise probability representing this discrepant uh, information. So imagine that we have food, four uh, football fans, uh, some of them well informed and some of them not that much. So each of them places their bets as giving the probability of two football teams, uh, let's say Liverpool and Man City, uh, winning or losing in a journey of uh, weekend matches. So note that uh, no draws are considered. So there are only uh, Boolean variables. You can see that some fans think, think that the probability of Liverpool and Man City winning their respective games are high, as in the cases 1 and 2, um, while some others think uh, otherwise. As cases uh, three and four, four. 
Uh, note that each fan gives their guesses as extreme points, so all of the combinations um, sum up to one. Instead of giving a final bet based on assumptions like uh, taking the mean of the values provided, a more cautious bet will be the, the convex hull of all the combinations. So for example, given the probability of Liverpool and Man City winning their respective games, uh, will be between 4 and 12 uh, sixteenths. So how do we build um, our critical network model? So as in Bayesian networks, we need to build our conditional probability tables um, that in these cases are formed by the uh, interval probabilities, uh, prior interval probabilities. Um, the states uh, most exhaust all the possible status of the variable, and if you are using this strong extension, um, the, the priors more, must be extreme points, as we can see in, in this example. Um, we will use this example in our next tutorial where we will build uh, our credal net in, uh, in open cosine. So inference in credal networks differently from Bayesian networks is performed by computing the posterior probability for each extreme point in the network. Uh, those, posterior, uh, those posteriors are minimized or maximized to find the final bounds of the wanted posterior. So let's let's look at this figure. Imagine that each of these uh, groups of networks, each of these networks uh, corresponds to a combination of extreme points. So let's say for combination two, we substitute the the probability values of the extreme points in the joint probability table in the joint probability distribution here, and then we marginalize out all the variables. Um, that are different than the query, and then we get a posterior. And then we do that for each of these combinations here. So at the end, we need to find which combination is the minimum and the maximum, and that will be uh, our lower and upper bound for our posterior. So in this presentation, we have covered the, concept of, the concepts of a credal network as well as credal sets, extreme points, and convex hull. Uh, we also have seen how to build a credal network model and how inference in credal network works. In the next video, we are going to see how to build and use a credal network in Open Cosan. And as always, for problems launching the Bayesian Network Toolbox, you can contact us uh, in our email addresses. Happy Cosaning!